Do you know why now is the best time to buy over the last few years? The inventory is up. Inventory in Hartford County is at 131% of what our five-year average is. Baltimore County is at 109 and so, so is Cecil County. That's the highest numbers that we've seen in over five years. So finally have some homes to choose from. The other thing, days on market. Days on market in Hartford County is up 69%. It was at 13 days on the market. Now we're at 22. So it's increasing. It's not 222, but it's 22 days. So if we look back historically, if we look back to 2010, you'd see 200 plus days on the market. We haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, but some of the things we are seeing, price reductions. We are seeing prices dropping. We are seeing overall sales prices being up, but we see some of the sellers are either getting bad information or a little bit greedy and they're pricing the home too high and then they had to come down. You don't want to miss the first two weeks when it's the busiest on the market. Listen to a good agent. Get that advice ahead of time. So let me get into some of the market stats. Harford County, we're at 256 sales for last month. That was down 3%. Baltimore County was down 9%. They had 708 and then Cecil County was up 10%. They were at 114. So just overall sales inventory is actually up. This is the first time we've seen Baltimore County over a thousand homes. So we are 1100 homes in Baltimore County. When you look back several years, that's still only about one quarter of what a terrible real estate market would be to 2010 and 11. And Hartford County, we're at 414, which is 131% of our five-year active inventory. Um, again, if you look back to 2010, we had about four times as much of that. We had about 16 to 1700 homes on the market back then. Um, the good news is high priced homes have been selling. The million dollar plus stuff has been going pretty quickly. There's a lot of um, uh, there's a, a lot of nice homes that have come on the market and gone under contract pretty quickly. Um, but just depends on what you're looking for. Average prices are up overall. So Hartford County average price is 385. That was up almost 7%. And Baltimore County at 358, which was up almost 5% over last year. Cecil County was 3.5%. And then this was an interesting one. So list to sell ratios. This is the first time that I've seen it probably since 2020 that we're less than 100% um, list to sell ratio, meaning, hey, they listed at um, 500,000. Did they get a price reduction or did they actually go over? So this is the average for Hartford County in August was 98.63%. Last year, same time, 101.13, so down over 2.5%. So again, that's price reduction. So we're seeing a li original list price, people listing too high, and then overall, they're getting less than what they were listed for. Baltimore County, 99.74% versus 101, again, down 1.3%. And then Cecil County was down about 2.2, but that's the first time I've seen that. So less than 100% list to sell ratio meaning buyers are getting some discounts. Thank goodness so and so, right? Uh, just wanna give you a good overall feel for the market. Uh, what's coming up? So we're asked, we're getting some people saying, what are you predicting for this final quarter of the year? Uh, some of it is if you've been paying attention to mortgage rates, they've actually come down. We've had the best mortgage rates that we've had in two years. So we were uh, early this year around 8% high sevens. Right now we're hovering six and a half percent on uh, just a par rate. And then if it's a government back loan, you're seeing some stuff in the high five. So, which is nice to see versus seven and 8%. So that's a big thing. Feds are getting ready to cut the rates on uh, September 17th. That's the predictions. And just know this, that it's probably baked in. Meaning we've already had this. They've lowered the, the rates about two to three weeks ago and they've been softer. They've been a little bit less than six and a half percent. Again, as a par rate, meaning no points. So uh, that's one of the things that's coming up. Are we gonna have some additional rate cuts? Probably. And then next year being a new election year, so whoever we get in the presidency, generally there's a good first, uh, you know, next year should be a good year in real estate overall, which sometimes means higher prices too. Maybe higher prices, lower interest rates, more affordability. So now is the time to get a good deal. Fourth quarter of the year is the, usually when you can get your best deals for buyers. And if you're looking to buy and sell, I would tell you do it ahead of time. The other thing, the sellers that are waiting for the spring market, now is a great time to get green photos, meaning your grass is really green, the leaves are on the trees, all those things. So if you're thinking of listing and you wanna reach out to us ahead of time, get with us. We'll go through paperwork, we'll get a listing agreement signed and we'll actually do all the photography now. So that way it's all taken care of for you for the spring market. And you can do coming soon for a longer period of time or exclusive listings. So, so these are some of the things that will help you in the long term to get that highest dollar amount and fulfill your needs as a seller. 
We're looking at what you need and how can we help you. If you have any questions, give us a call at the office. Have a great day.